A lot of people writing in to wonder um, if you have thoughts on the research on binaural beats and mm. specifically like looking at kind of the, you know, the hertz. <laughs> yeah. So there's, there is research on that. And for some people, um, again, like um, even clients of mine, some find that very helpful in terms of, you know, there's sort of like rhythm of binaural beats and this kind of uh, that mindfulness of being aware. And then I've had other clients that find it very annoying and don't enjoy it at all. Um, and so there aren't studies that really show, you know, here's this ideal in terms of like frequency and hertz because, and frankly, if we think about it, I mean, all of our brains are different. And so how we're even going to respond, just like that study showed that people with, even amongst people with ADHD, that those who had sort of uh, were seen as having kind of more severe symptoms responded better to the more heavily modulated music. Because there are people like, you know, I, I have people in my family with ADHD who, um, you know, growing up like with my brother, for example, like he could not, like he needed very light, like classical kind of music and um, I mean, I used to put on my headphones and he used to get distracted by how loud the music was through my headphones um, and he couldn't, you know, focus. So it really, yeah, it really depends. However, I'm excited by the fact that there's, I have in doing this presentation in the literature, there's been a significant increase of studies in the last five years, I would say, that have looked at music and ADHD.